Well, now for the top story tonight, reaction with us, a Barack and a hard place duo, Monica Crowley and Alan Colm. So, Colm, do you believe the Post article calls? I believe that he indeed is trying to flip Congress to make it Democratic, no question about that. Why would it be surprised that a Democratic president wants to have a Democratic president to work with? At but, the expense of the folks? But I don't think he's doing it because he doesn't want to help the country, or that he doesn't think what's best for the country would be to work with Congress. He has tried. He has compromised all during his first term of this Congress. They have said they did not want to work with him. They have shown they haven't wanted okay, to work with him. Let's get specific rather than this BS, please. The Washington Post and Brit Hume, not compatible ideology right. usually, both make the same point. The president is willing to have Americans suffer for the greater good of trying to have Nancy Pelosi be the new no, speaker I didn't, of the no, House. The Washington Post didn't talk about wanting the country to suffer. What it talked about was he wants to flip Congress. But, but he won't compromise. He's making it impossible. If you read the, did you read the Post yes. article? He's yes. making it impossible to reach accord with the Republicans. But Bill, it's one thing to say he wants to flip the House. There's another thing to say he purposely wants the American people to suffer. He's making it impossible to get anything done. Do you agree with that? that for a second? Yes. And so you have to go back to who Barack Obama is. Remember four years ago when he was campaigning in 08, Bill, he talked about the fundamental transformation of the nation. We now have over four years of evidence as to exactly what he meant. So what he wants is the last two years of his presidency to look like his first two years, meaning a wide open political field. But he didn't do Democrats this stuff in the first the two. Years, what are you he, talking about? He got socialized medicine. He got, he got, uh, he started no, no, ramping but, but up but the here's where you're going wrong. The here's, here's where you're going wrong. You might disagree with Obamacare, all right, but he got it done. All right, he got it done. And how did he get it done? It because doesn't he matter massive how he got it done. Majorities in Congress, which is what he wants for the last two years. But here, he hasn't even submitted any proposals. Don't you see the difference? Right. And okay. This, this, Back then, he was saying, I want socialized medicine or whatever you want to call it. Now he doesn't do anything. He just says, we want to raise taxes. Here, let's raise them again, right. even because, though I just got one. There's nothing put forth. Because nothing. he is not a problem solver. He is a fundamental transformer. Uh, you, you have to understand $2, that he is not a normal he, president. I, I disagree with what's being said here. He's offered $2.50 in tax cuts for every dollar no, no, in tax increases. That's not increases. specific. He's, but it's his, yes, no, he has. That's He's not, offered cuts in Medicare. He's offered cuts no, in entitlement. No, that's not specific. He's asking, he has to say, here are the programs that are going to go down. Here's how we're going to reform Medicare and Social Security. And the man refuses to do true. it. He yes, he that. is. He has he's he was, he was right. willing to cut Hold his it. program. Hold it, because now I'm getting teed off of you. Give me <laughs> one damn program he said he cut. He has cut what? entitlements. He has cut Not entitlements. Not entitlements. One what program. Yelling? What do you want to yell at? Well, because, because you're because lying. I'm not lying. You are don't lying call me a liar. Don't, call, don't you sit there and call no, me a liar. No, you're lying. I'm not Give, lying. Hey, you, here's you, the proof. you don't like the president. You don't like what he's doing. But don't sit there and call me a liar. I am. Give no, me one lying. program. Look, we can have a disagreement without no. you calling me a liar. That's not no, necessary. No, you're lying That's here. not necessary. You are lying. I'm not lying. We there have a disagreement. A There's a difference between having a disagreement and calling me a liar. Yeah. That's a personal This attack. is why I'm calling you a liar. Give me one program he said he cut. He would cut. Medicare and Medicaid. That's he would actually not cut a specific he offered cuts program. To those. You asked me a program. Those are programs. All right. That, those are programs. Okay. You know when he has said anything that even approaches what you're saying, Alan, he doesn't mean it. I'll give you a specific no, example. I, I want to say with Calms. I want right. to say with Calms. All right. All right. Because I don't usually do what I just okay. did to him. I asked him four times, Combs, to give me one specific program out of all the federal budget, $3.2 trillion worth of spending that Obama said he would cut. He would one. He has actually one. hurt himself give with Give me his, one. I said he has hurt himself with his base because he has talked about cuts right. to Medicare. Do you, know, do you know any specific? $3.2 trillion in spending. All right. I asked Combs for one. He can't provide it. Can you? I, I cannot because okay. he has not So provided. both of our people. Both of our people, ladies and gentlemen, cannot provide one program out of three point two trillion in spending that this president said he would cut. And you sit there and you say you're not you're Come accusing on. the president of wanting the people to suffer in this country. That's absolutely untrue. You, you think you, you can think disagree with him? That sitting he, in an Oval Office for five years. You think he wants with a, to suffer with a, with a seventeen trillion dollar debt and refusing to say one program that he cut? You don't think that's putting a burden on the American people? What do you people? call Medicare? I keep telling you. I keep, no, you're you not telling me anything. It's <laughs> jack what you're saying. There's another we'll have, word we'll for it, but it's an upsetting. We'll have to disagree. Right? No, it's not about a disagreement. You you can't back up. You can't give me one example of any federal program that he said he would cut. Not what one. What did I just say? 
What? what? Medi what I just, look, no, wait, Medicare wait, wait. is not, you can't say he's, he's going to he's cut He's talking Medicare. about cutting Where is he going to cut it? Is he going to take money away from 62-year-olds, 58-year-olds? Is he going to take it away from the states? Where is he going to cut Medicare? Where? There would be less money going to the states. There would be less what? money going. How much there would be less? less money reimbursed to doctors How for Medicare. How much less? He's actually talked about cutting the reimbursement to doctors and hospitals. This is just we're cutting blank. reimbursements to no, doctors and hospitals. You're wasting That's our what time. He's talked about. This is bull. Bill, blank. I'm answering your question. That's what he talked about. He talked about cutting right. reimbursements. I'm giving you the last word. All I will say is that this president has done the exact opposite. He and Reid and Pelosi have done an, an unprecedented spending blowout over the last four years. He has amassed six trillion dollars in debt over four years, which is All a right. record. I'm, 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 I'm so angry about, it. and I apologize to you, Holmes. I shouldn't have used the word lie. But you did not put forth here anything that he He's cutting would do. reimbursements to hospitals. No, you don't doctors. know how much. You don't know where. You don't know to whom. You don't know anything. And the you reason you don't know it, program. and the reason you don't know it, is because the guy that you revere refuses to say anything specific about anything. All he wants to do is raise taxes. That's it. That's not how you compromise. That's not how you get anything done. That's not how you bring down he, a deficit. He has actually hurt himself with his progressive base by saying he wants to cut those, those I don't payments. give a damn about his progressive base. I give a damn about the American people, and we're being conned, and you're buying the con and putting out BS. Uh, I disagree we're being conned. Uh, we have to disagree. Did I get a little bit bored there? <laughs> no, I think it was great. All right. By the way, Monica's book, What the Bleep Just Happened, and there you go. There, it is. there you go. Now out in paperback. Next Thanks. on the rundown this.